Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? My name is David Lillian, owner of World Football Artwork on Instagram, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do um, another editing tutorial. This has been very highly requested. I told you guys, if you guys get 200 likes on a certain picture, you can see it on my Instagram, by the way, Instagram link in the description below. Um, you guys can, you guys got 200 likes on my Manuel Neuer edit, so thank you guys, and I promised I'd bring you another tutorial this weekend, so here we are. All right. Let's get started here. Um, this is going to be of, I had like four requests or three or four requests for Tottenham. And then somebody said they like the French national team. So what a better choice than Hugo Lloris of all people. So we start a new project here. We can go high quality. So let's go 2000 by 2000. And usually we would fill this background here, but we're actually going to keep it stable. So this is going to be a pretty long one. So I'm going to try to go as quickly as I can here. Not too much talking and stuff. Uh, I'll talk to you guys. All right. So we're going to start here. It's Tottenham. So dark blue. And there's a specific grunge brush here that I want to show to you guys. Um, it's a good one. I think I used it in one of my edits before. Um, if you haven't seen my other tutorials, definitely check them out. Uh, I think this is video number seven, and I'm already at 150 subscribers, so your guys' support of late has been phenomenal. Keep it up. Uh, you know, couldn't thank you guys enough for the awesome, awesome, you know, likes and comments and just support overall you guys have given me on Instagram and on YouTube so far. I just saw it. All right, here we go. So it can be really any one of these. These are all, like, grunges, so it gives, like, an old-timey sort of, not really, yeah, yeah I guess, like, a worn-out look. So we're just going to go 777. And with the dark blue, and just click around a little bit. Oh, we don't want it on the background. So we've got to make sure we're creating a new layer on top. And just go in, uh, you know, flip around the brush. And you can use sort of similar brushes around. Um, we don't want too many of these because it's not, that's not really the point of it. Um, yeah, so just... Uh, it's a bit big. Let's see how that looks. Oh, you know, what? I actually like that better. Let's let's just do a, a big, because we want to get through this pretty fast. So let's just do like a big sort of, make it look pretty bright on this. But most of this blue is going to be faded out. The blue is not the main point of it. All right, moving on. Now, so we're just going to save this. We just want to get out of this. Um, or you know what? We're going to do one more step on this thing. Sorry, guys. Um, let's go to an even darker blue and these, we are going to do a, um, it's like a, what's it called? Like a checkerboard thing. So these are right here. You guys can Google for checkerboard brushes, whatever, whatever works for you. It's up to you. You guys can use whatever you want in your artwork. Um, and you can use whichever one you can make it as big or as small as you want. I like this cause it, it, um, Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I like these throughout. Um, maybe a little bit bigger to make the brushes appear, uh, or make the the uh, checkerboard appear bigger. Um, sorry if I'm having problems with the audio. Remember, you want to create a new layer for each layer of effects that you put down. You're going to want to create a new layer. Just sort of organize your work, separate it out. So you can put these in now or later. I just want to put them in now just so I can get the basic ideas down. Um, so we're going to save this. Let's save this um, tutorial BG. Save it as a PSD. Save it as Photoshop. Okay. And I just want to show you guys here the wallpaper that I have. These are the kind of wallpapers that I make, and I just think this is really cool. I showed you in another video I had a Marco Royce one, so I just wanted to know, uh, what do you guys think of this Jack Wilshire one? Um, I made it a while back, and I was really happy with it. All right, so we have four pictures here. For Hugo Lloris, Lloris, whatever his name is. And we're just going to skin all of them. And let's see. All right. So we can use this one or, well, I'm trying to decide which one to use as the main picture. I think this is a Lloris one. Yeah, okay. I think I'm going to use... Uh, I think I'm going to use this one as the main picture. So we can do this one first. Uh, we could just leave it. You don't have to crop it at this point. And start 
I'm going to use a slightly different skin that I used the last time. I've been using really similar skins in my first few videos. So I'm just going to go rapid fire here. Try to pay attention. If I forget to say like what the, um, the skin is actually like what, I don't know what, what value I'm putting each, um, slider at just, um, try, try to look, try to follow along. I'll try to provide as best commentary as I can. I'm, really tired and really under the weather right now but i promise you guys tutorial you guys mean that much to me that when i'm sick and tired i still am dedicated dedicated to you guys so yeah uh keep up the likes and support you guys have been awesome my dream once again the dream is 10,000 followers on instagram and 1,000 subs on youtube so i hope one day i can reach that dream and um you know, you guys are the ones that can allow me to do that so now we're gonna head into topaz adjust if you guys don't know know what topaz is it's basically a dynamic pop. It's it's like um it's something that you download that you can use on an external application, so like Photoshop or like Lightroom, other things alternative to Photoshop. Um go to psychedelic strengths a little bit high here. Turn that down a bit. Finishing touches, you want transparency. So we want this heavier than the other skins because the main we can go to 0.54. Um Want a little bit more detail in this. So this just kind of creates, the next one is Topaz Detail. I don't use Topaz Detail too much. Lighting's kind of bad in here today. I'm filming in a different location. So, um, detail, Topaz Detail, this kind of provides like a, um, sort of like a little contrast. Like it'll bring out the folds in your shirt a little bit more. So like when you'll see it loads up so i i put it on overall detail light one which is like a really light setting so like it's not going to go all heavy but as you can see like it's like really small difference there but we're going to keep it just so i can show you guys as much stuff as i can in this minimal time that i'm, I'm trying to keep this short as i can because you know so it's going to be a long tutorial but you guys wanted the the full thing you guys want to see how i do the full thing so i'm going to try to i'm dedicated so let's see so we're going to want curly smooth i'll just go from the start here curly smooth threshold zero strength three and sharpness we'll bring the sharpness down a little bit and that looks good boost go as low as it can go and press okay i think we're done with this skin um it looks nice to me and um yeah i think i'll keep it like that so we're gonna make a duplicate layer by pressing command j and use the quick selection tool as we have done in pretty much all of my other tutorials and just go around this is a pretty easy picture in a mask that's the main reason why i picked it and you know just zoom in use the uh the minus the minus tool when you want to take stuff away and we want to get all of them in here and we don't want to leave in any of the background like we will for some of the other pictures you guys will see what i mean pretty soon um that's looking good. So that was a pretty quick mask. Um, a lot of the times there's going to be situations in which, you know, you're trying to cut out multiple players and it's going to be, uh, you know, it could take you 10, 15 minutes just to cut them out. So we're going to press command X to cut, take off the visibility of the background layer. So now we have our nice cut out picture. Don't know what that was. Um, save it as a PNG. Let's go. Yoris PNG. Just save that. All right, um, X out of this. Don't need to save that one. All right, so now we're getting on to the, so what we'll do here is we're just gonna check, we're gonna kind of check the layout, check how this is gonna work. So we're gonna make an empty layer and put our main picture in. And so this is what I like to do and it allows me to see sort of what I'm gonna do with the other pictures. So the plan is is one picture over here and two over here so that's why i didn't really want to do these now so we can do these later um but yeah so let's keep it like that all right so we're going to save the changes that we made to it and moving on all right so now we have our three other pictures and oh that's the same one so have our three other pictures and we are going to skin them all and we're going to use the same skin not going to be as heavy i'm pretty sure the only main difference is going to be no topaz detail 
but it is going to look fairly similar. So these pictures aren't as good quality. I tried to pick, you know, when, when you're looking for um, pictures to edit, you want to pick high quality. So if you're going on Google, um, search for images two megapixels larger. I showed you guys how to do that under search tools. I showed you guys how to do that two videos ago. So yeah, definitely check them out. And also check out my Instagram for more of my work. I may have a website coming out soon for wallpapers for you guys to download instead of having to like ask me to make you a wallpaper and he charge you a shout out. I may just want to, you know, make them for you and then have you able to download them and check out my website. But definitely if you guys like, you know, check out my Instagram below. It's pretty cool. We're at 2700 something. I can actually check right now while this is loading up. We are right now at 2788 followers so pretty uh pretty good right there all right so continuing on topaz adjust and uh also let me know what you guys um want to see next let me know if you guys want more or less of this, if you guys want to interact with me on Instagram, feel free to DM me questions. And, you know, it's always really nice, like, when I get um, messages from you guys saying how much my tutorials helped you. That's 0.68. By the way, we had dynamic pop before that. We didn't change the um, strength. I just figured, forget it. It doesn't really matter here because we're going to be making this picture black and white in a second. So it really doesn't matter the color if it's too saturated in one area. It's all going to go away in a second. Um gonna go to clean so it's like i was saying it was really nice when i get and you're just gonna keep the same settings here it's really nice when i get messages from you guys saying how much i've helped you and saying how much my tutorials have helped you so thank you guys for that and it really uh brightens up my day when i get those messages from you guys i can probably read you guys one at the end and um yeah so what we're gonna do now is image adjustments black and white and now create an empty layer above that and we're going to go with, yep, yeah, dark blue. Not too dark, though. Let's see how this looks. A bit light, but you know what? I think it'll do. So we're going to want it on soft light. And maybe that's a bit heavy because the picture is dark overall. So we can't, yeah, that looks good. All right, so we're going to want to remember uh, 73, 73. And we're going to save this because we want to pretty much get the same look for the other three pictures, and we'll just save it as a JPEG. Don't need this as a PSD. Just random letters and numbers. Uh, you want to save it maximum quality. Um, all right. So continuing, I think this is the one. Yep, all right, this is another one. So we're going to use the same skin. Um, I can actually read you guys one of the... Um, messages that I've received we're just gonna you know like I said same skin so it doesn't doesn't really matter but yeah you know big thanks to you guys every single one of you that follows me every single one that likes and views my videos on a regular basis you guys really you know makes me uh makes me feel pretty good knowing that you guys uh you know knowing that you guys really watch and listen to my videos it's really really cool seeing how many of you guys like international not only from the usa the majority of my viewers are from the usa because you guys can check like you know view count from where um but it's really cool to see that you guys are actually watching my videos so thanks for that again um i think i went past it all right we'll look at it later uh same thing adjust dynamic pop and depending on the quality of the picture, you can adjust your skin accordingly. So if you feel like there's kind of too heavy of an uh, too heavy of a skin on somebody, you can make it like I think this one's a little bit less quality, so we can make it a little bit more transparent. This effect a little bit more transparent, but it doesn't really matter in the end because these pictures are going to be smaller. They're not the main picture, so it doesn't really matter. All right, clean. The good thing about Topaz is that it saves the settings you were on before, so you can just, you know, just if you want to use the same skin, you can just go on that Topaz and it'll be the same effect that it had. Once again, image, adjustments, black and white, another empty layer. Now this picture is going to be slightly lighter, so we may not have to use all the, um, or maybe we will a little bit because, you know, let's go 70, uh, 73 again. That looks nice. All right. Save it again. I'm really lazy, so I usually, honestly, I just type in random, uh, 
random letters and numbers. And then I just chrono, you know, chronologically time organize them. So I can just pick which ones to, um, I, I just know where all the pictures are. All right, that was weird. Um, continuing, we think we got one more. I think it's this one. Yep, here it is. Uh, nope, this is the wrong one. Sorry, guys. Um, I had a good one. I think it's this one. Yep, this is it. So, like I said about having a French and Tottenham combination, you know, Hugo Ruiz, good player. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll crop it. Why not? Why not? And, oh, mistakes have been made. Went to adjust first. Don't want to go to adjust. Sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird, just not feeling well. And it's tired. It's 9.20 at night. Let's get through this. Come on. All right. So and we're not we're not even done yet. This is we're not close to done. I'll try to upload this tonight. Not that this would matter because you're going to be watching this in the future. But yeah, um, I'll definitely post. Let you know when I upload this. I don't actually do any editing. I just do this all in one take, which is like I lost iMovie. I had to reset my computer um, a few weeks ago. So. I lost everything. I lost all my old edits, which really was terrible. But if any of you guys wants to edit my videos for me, if anybody wants to do that, that would be sick. So just contact me on Instagram. I'd definitely, definitely be willing to, um, you know, it, whatever, anything for you. For anybody that's willing to actually edit my videos into professional looking segments, that would be absolutely awesome. So I'm trying to find the thing that somebody sent me. I'm going to find it by the end, I promise. I promise. I will do this. All right. Let's see. Is it here? Oh, I have a picture that I didn't even open. All right, whatever. I don't know. Ah, it's almost unloading. I need to find it. I give up. All right. Well... Because I want to keep this moving. I'm still looking, still looking, still looking, still looking. This is so confusing. Ah. Alright. Forget it. We'll find it later. Ooh, alert on my phone. Um, okay. Adjust. Did I already do it? No, I didn't do adjust. Just did denoise. Alright. Dynamic pop. You want to do this just to... If, if you're ever going into adjust just to do any sort of edit thing that you're doing, I definitely recommend using dynamic pop for just about anything. Just because, I mean, it, it really um, brings out a bit of the contrast in the picture. All right. Transparency. This is a bit lower quality, so we can move the transparency. I think last time it was at like 75 or something. So you can move it a little bit up, 82. And. Give it a second. All right. And clean. And it's already got the settings saved for us right there. Bang, that looks nice. What did you guys think of the uh, Premier League second week? Let me know in the comments. Who's your favorite team? Because I'll make edits of those teams. Um, awesome that Leicester, I think, is now at the top of the table. I think that's great. And I, yeah, <laughs> I'm a United supporter, as some of you guys may know. Big win against Villa on Friday night. So, glory, glory, Man United. All right, moving on. Black and white. You know the drill. Paint bucket right on top on the empty layer. Soft light. And 70, oh, forget it, 73. All right, save as, uh, I'm so formal. Large or maximum quality. Uh, all right, now we are finally done with all of our individual pictures. Now we can get on to the real um, sort of finished product here as we um, organize our pictures. So, we have here empty layer, 
above our blue grunge splatter thing. We're going to want picture number one. We can put that. I want to size this down a bit. Uh, we'll put it up in the corner. Why not? Um, I did make it a bit darker than I like, and I apologize for that. But, um, yeah, sorry about that. So you just want to go to the soft brush, just like a main, just the main one. Increase the size and just, um, we can lower the opacity just a bit, just to get it a cleaner fade. You want to make sure the main thing that you want is that um, all these sort of lines on the edge of the picture, that they're just gone because that's just not a good look when you have them. It looks very, just, just not, just not good. I'll put it that way. Just, just not good when you have these straight lines on the edges of your picture. So we just want to create like a little, little area around him. Maybe I cut off a bit too much, but I'm not going to go back and fix it. I apologize. I just got to keep moving on here. Picture number two. All right. Yeah, this will be good as a second picture. Um, so we can move this. We can slide, you can slide these whenever you like. Um, slide this over, create a little bit more space. All right. And just, oh, just erase everything. You can actually take off the visibility. We're not deleting it. And once again, just clean up the edges here. Notice how I'm on the selected layer. For those of you guys who don't really know too much about Photoshop, you gotta be on the layer. If you, if you want to really manipulate it in any way, shape or form, you got to be on that selected layer. Now you can see the big sort of dark spot in his inside of his arm here. Um, that's just unfortunate that that's there. So we're just going to have to cut that out. Didn't really want to do that, but make sure you're not, if you're going to, if you're going to make the decision to cut them fully out, cut them fully out. Don't, don't leave a little bit hanging. Um, like I did here. This was a very poor, poor job, poor execution. Disappointed in myself. Come on. Gotta get better. All right. So that is that. And one more empty layer above and it is going to be our most recent picture and that is this one and when you're going to size up i know i've said this a lot of times in my other videos you're going to want to hold down shift to keep it all in proportion otherwise it's going to get all messed up and i'm going to slide this back over actually all right because i do want to get see if we can get his whole glove in this picture i don't know if i'll be able to work that in but and eh, we can leave it out whatever all right so Take off the top layer of visibility. Go in again with the eraser tool. And just make sure you get everything that you want. It's totally up to you how much of this blue area around him you want to leave in. Um, also, guys, I don't mind if you copy my styles. I don't mind if you, you know, I mean, not all these styles are mine either. But I don't mind if you, co just please don't copy the, please don't use the same picture and just, just do the same thing and just really go step by step. These tutorials are really meant for inspiration, not really just copying. At least if you're going to copy me with using the same picture and stuff, just please, please give me credit. You know, just give credit where credit is due. I'd really, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Um, thank you to anybody who's watched my tutorials and has actually, you know, used that to their own inspiration. Because I've definitely seen an increase in, you know, specific styles after I post stuff. And that's really cool for me to see. All right. So finally, we have our pictures in and just shift them around, sort of create finishing uh, adjustments here. We can actually size these down a bit. So what we're going to want to do is go to edit, transform, scale. And once again, you can hold down that shift and scale it down. And I think we can do that with the top one too here. So I think that's, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to show you why. Oh, wrong, wrong one. We're going to be adding in this few more effects in the background in addition to just that um, checkerboard thing that I showed you guys earlier. I wish I left a little bit of his side in, but we're not going to go back and fix it, like I said. We're running short on time. So now, we're going to want to get to a, you know, it's, yeah, we can go a little bit darker blue. Why not? Um, go down to these sort of rectangular pattern brushes. Um, 
if you guys want any of these brushes that I haven't left in the description, tell me on Instagram, and I'll do my best to direct you guys um, to somewhere where you can get them for free. 2,000 pixels, just bang, just like that. I think these look really cool, and if you want, you know, they're maybe popping a little bit too much for me, so maybe just like that. Or if you want, you can use one of the blend modes here, so uh, soft light's a little bit gone. Hard light, let's see, overlay, nah. All right, we can just take down the opacity if you don't like it. Too heavy, which I don't. You're the artist. It's up to you. All right. Um, I think I'm actually going to want to size up this Yoris again. Just sorry for the mid-tutorial uh, mid adjustments, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done. All right. Moving on. Layer on top of the square. Or, you know, it can be under the squares. Empty layer under the squares. And let's go with just a black um we're not going to use the same checkerboard as before i want to use a different one and this one's actually really really cool it is a um they're sort of like if you can imagine splatters of the checkerboard i'll show you guys what i mean in one second i've downloaded so many brushes like twice by accident that if anybody knows how to delete like a whole thing of brushes at once that would be really cool i got help from somebody in the last video when i didn't realize why the thing wasn't popping up you guys can watch it i am all out of sorts this evening all right where is it where is it where is it where is it if it's not here or if it, oh there wait i just saw it i don't know if it's down or up i have so many brushes that it slows down this this whole scrolling thing i think it'll be here yes okay i see them they're right there clicked it did i get it all right gonna want to go with this one and that's a bit too much for me size them down and just click because this is why we did it after because we fill in the areas that the players are not in soft light now too much overlay nope so we can just oh, normal where is normal it's normal just take down the opacity a bit so that looks pretty cool and now um a couple more steps left uh nope don't want that empty layer above everything except for our main picture and we're just going to go with a white and these are another um really cool grunge set they're right here and it creates a light which is not too obviously a light but not too obviously not a light i don't know i just want to go around the edge of him I just make it very evident that there's an effect around him. You're the artist. You can decide how much or little of this you want. Also, I don't decided that I did not want as much blue up here. Made a mistake with that on this picture. So just go in with the eraser. I, want, I like, usually like to cut out their heads pretty exact and then leave what's around them fairly um, loose, if you will. All right. Um couple more steps we have um below all these new layer we're gonna want to just add some text up here because why not we can write um let's see so i had the font really big earlier yoris i like this font lemon milk regular i downloaded it um somebody was generous enough to give it to me i won it in like a editing thing so Somebody had a GFX pack, and I won it, so thank you to, got to type it again. Um, I think the color of this can be blue, let's go with, and then let's see how this looks in uh, soft light. Not quite sure how this is going to look. No, not really what I wanted. All right, change of plans. You know what we're going to do here? We are going to go with um, very little opacity, but I'm going to show you guys something pretty cool here. Uh, you're going to want to go to FX and Outer Glow, and you can see it'll give it a little bit of a glow around the outside. Maybe not. Maybe I lied. Maybe it didn't work. haven't really done that too much before. I think it did work, but it's just too, too faint. I haven't really worked with those... Um, gradient maps and things that are down here too much um 
Let's see if it'll work. Just got to experiment with these. All right. Forget that. Um, yeah, we don't need the text in this. That was a disaster. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Or, you know what? Let's keep the text and just... Um, this is a mess. You know what? That's not too bad. That's actually not too bad. Um, you know, it's not my favorite, but it'll, uh, it'll do here if we put it on hard light and then below most things. I don't know. Oh, you know what? That looks kind of cool. If you go dissolve and then dissolve it a lot, eh, just you can just play around with this stuff. I'm spending way too much time on this. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. On top of everything, Yoris, right there. Okay. Uh, one more step to go, and we are done, I promise. Uh, we're actually going to move below this. So, on top of everything, except for the effect behind Yoris and himself in the main picture, we're going to fill the whole thing We've done this before with black, but this time we're going to do it with white. And then we're just going to use the soft brush. And let's see here. Let's make it 2,000. And just fade this out around the middle. Just use the eraser from the middle. You can see the difference here. Very evident. Um, so I think it actually looks better like this, and then you can erase a little bit more where the players are, and a little bit less where they're not. All right, so I think this about wraps this up. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If this helped us in, if this helped you in any way, shape, or form, remember to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you are new to my art. Definitely click the link in the description box below. There will be a link to my Instagram, more of my work there ton of stuff i hope to have some giveaways coming up soon remember no times change tutorials until i hit 10k on instagram or a thousand followers on here thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys next time